Hello and welcome back to TechnoOvo. My name's Steph and today we are playing Horizon Forbidden West on the Steam Deck and I'm going to be running through my settings on what I'm currently using on the Steam Deck OLED to give you as close to 30 FPS as possible as this is really all I'm able to manage. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. Also, subscribe. So before we jump into the game, let me just run through the properties and go down to compatibility. Just to show you, I'm not using any kind of compatibility tool. I haven't ticked the force to use anything, and it's worked absolutely fine for me so far. So diving into the Steam performance menu, you can see the settings I'm currently using. It's turned off use per game profile. I have disabled the frame rate limit, which we'll see in a moment why. And things like allow tearing, half rate shading, TDP limit, manual GPU clock, scaling mode and scaling filter are all pretty much switched off. So diving into Horizon Forbidden West, I have played the tutorial which was fairly linear at the start of the game, but I wanted to get to the more open world area to really put it to the test. And these are the graphics settings that I have found. So diving into the display settings first, looking at our window mode at full screen, 1280 by 720 resolution, aspect ratio auto, cinematics letterboxing is on, VSync is switched on off although you could switch that on as well dynamic range i've not touched colorblind mode i've not touched amd fsr 2.2 i have switched on you have got xcss that you can use as well but i have seen it really perform best in fsr 2.2 and dynamic resolution scaling i've kept that at 30 this can go all the way up to 60 but i have found that at 60 it really does start blurring uh, the the image really badly so i've kept that at 30 to aim for that 30 fps frame rate and to be honest with you it's not worked out too badly diving into the graphic settings i'm running a custom preset at the moment this is what the steam deck oled gave me and i've only mucked around with very very few options but as it stands at the moment it runs quite well texture quality at high texture filtering trilinear Shadow quality very low, screen space shadows is off, ambient occlusion and screen space reflections are both switched off. Level of detail is set to low, uh, hair quality very low, doesn't make a huge amount of difference to be honest with you. Crown quality low, terrain quality low, water quality medium, uh, just to give it a bit of a bit of detail in that water. Uh, clouds quality at low because you're not really looking up at the clouds too often and it doesn't make much of a difference anyway being on medium. Uh, translucent quality set to default and parallax occlusion mapping is off field of view at zero depth of field off bloom off motion blur strength is at 10 but you can get that turned down if you wanted to um, it does help somewhat with the fps if there is a bit of motion blur because it doesn't have to render everything as sharply but um, but yeah you can get that switched down if you so wanted sharpness at five because of that fsr 2.2 Lens flares off, vignette off, radial blur off, and chromatic aberration. My head's in the way, but that is set to off as well. And because of that dynamic resolution scaling, you can see that the FPS is pretty much consistent around the low 30s. It does dip down to the late 20s at times, and especially in combat, you can see that the game does drop down to the late 20s. Early 20s just then rendering those rocks on the left-hand side while riding on the horse. As you can see as well, it is really trying to keep up with that, with keeping everything as sharp as possible on the dynamic resolution scaling. When it was set to 60, it just looked an absolute mess. But it's not all the time. It is still, I mean, it's as smooth as 30 FPS can be, right? Being on a games console, or being on a Steam Deck, should I say, rather than a games console, it's not a bad performing badly performing game certainly not the best performing game is it playable though some may argue yes some will definitely argue no it's not really playable but it certainly will get you through an hour or so if you are sitting in the car commuting or if you're on a train or a plane or something like that and you want to experience horizon forbidden west for yourself so now we have done a little bit of running around the world itself of course i am at the start of the game there are different biomes i'm assuming looking at trailers and things like that for this game but we are at the very beginning of this game at the moment so what i'm going to do is just dive into a bit of combat and show you the frame rate performance on the settings that we have chosen during a bit of 
combat. Uh, let's get out my normal arrows and start firing away. So as you can see, we are still hitting around the 30, but as you can probably see on the video as well, that it does tend to <clears throat> really blur because of that dynamic resolution scaling to keep the frame rate at as close to 30 as possible. It does blur, <laughs> blur the, the video somewhat or the image somewhat, which is okay. It's not great, but at least it's keeping it at 30 FPS as much as it possibly can, as opposed to dipping down into the 20s and even late teens without that, which is definitely something you don't want because uh, that would just then become unbelievably unplayable. Oh, I didn't realize you were there. Uh, let's get in close. Oh, let's get some health actually first as well. But the game does do a phenomenal job of recovering back to a better quality uh, as, as soon as the resolution recognizes that it doesn't need to dip anymore to keep it to 30. It does a decent job of, of, of getting back to that, to a sharper image. Seems to be, it seems to dip when there is a lot more going on the screen at any one time. Of course, during combat and sparks and flames and whatever, like going off on the screen at once if you're just running around the world or for what I've found, running around this world at the moment hasn't been too bad on the Steam Deck at all. If we go down to the lower area of this game, we might be able to jump into a cutscene and then uh, show you how cutscenes perform in this game, which again, isn't too bad, but the frame rate does take a hit. And again, with this second cutscene as well, with a couple of people interacting with each other, we're still hitting around the mid 30s, uh, down to 30 FPS now, but that's absolutely fine. I still wouldn't call this performance hitting and there you go a little bit of a dip there as well so now we're in this cutscene depending on who's on the screen at any one time in the, the characters in the background or the NPCs in the background the frame rate does take a hit down to the mid 20s maybe late 20s depending on how much is of course is going on at the screen at any one time Now we are beyond the wall properly. Let me grab my controller. We are hitting a nice 31 FPS. Flames on the screen isn't doing much to the frame rate, which is decent. I think I've just run the wrong way, have I? Oh no, here we go. I think again during during combat scenes and that you're not even a bloody person we're supposed to be killing. During combat scenes, the actual quality is again pretty decent. We are still hitting thirty mid thirties in terms of the FPS. Again, that's very much down to the um, that dynamic resolution scaling. But considering we were at the low twenties when we first entered the the West Forbidden West, it's uh, it's definitely being handled quite well. Although I don't think oh there is one one more with uh... there you go. Getting better at this. Still at thirties, which I think is pretty decent. Oh, I did just dip down there to like seven, <laughs> seven FPS. But that might have been because it was loading the cutscene. 
I don't know if that was because of the gameplay of what was going on screen because it didn't feel, feel as if any more was going on screen than there was before. So that might have been just pre-loading the cutscene. I'll take that. Although it just looks like a bloke underneath all of his armor. Search Gruder. Yeah, cutscenes, that loading period when it's getting into cutscenes tends to almost slow the game down. So anything before that, I have a feeling that it was probably cutscene cut loading related as opposed to the actual slowdown of the game itself. Okay, so now we are out in the almost Forbidden West. I'm not sure if this is the Forbidden West now after what they've just said, but we are out west. Uh, hold X while in the air to deploy and glide. Tap B to stop gliding. So now we are out in the west. We are we have had a little bit of a hit to frame rate, which isn't too bad. Oh, we're back up at 33 again. So maybe it's just the loading in of different sections or because the HUD is showing me loads of things loading in. We're still now hitting. I mean, we're at 39, to be honest with you. Let's... Uh, what was the glide button? Well, that... <laughs> well, that certainly was not the glide button. But yeah, we are still at the 30 FPS mark. 33... In an, in an open world area. I know it doesn't look great. Compared to what it probably would look like on a high-end PC or a PS4 or PS5. But it's playable, right? It is definitely, definitely playable. So far, anyway. Other biomes, of course, I haven't got that far in the game to check those out. But from what we've seen at the moment, yes, there's been a few stutters going down to the low 20s. And we went hit 19 then. But apart from that, apart from that, it's absolutely fine. Playable experience. Well, semi-playable, I would say depending on what's going on the screen at any one time. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you did enjoy it, then please hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest Steam Deck videos, and let us know in the comments down below, are you going to be picking up Horizon Forbidden West, and are you going to be playing it on your Steam Deck? As I say, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.